teams out for the uh, start of the match here this afternoon. And uh, we'll be on the way very shortly and a chance for uh, many of these players to build up their fitness and to try and impress and catch the eye for a position in the starting 11 when the championship season uh, kicks off uh, in earnest. And uh, it is the unfamiliar sight of seeing Tom Clark captaining the opposition today. And uh, he is going through those formalities with Alan Brown, but great move for, uh, for Tom Clark. Johnson offering it short. Oh, trying to go a bit longer, but it's picked off by the home side. Sante again now. Got plenty of pace as well. Beaten away by the goalkeeper. Yeah, it looks like, you know, just, just going off what I've seen already, look like they've got a, a nice mix. He's obviously tried to bring in a little bit of experience this year. Salford finished 11th in League Two uh, last season. The League Two campaign ending on the points per game system, somewhat controversially. Just wide there. Really inventive play from uh, from low. Been impressed with Salford so far. Here's Bayliss. Again, going for goal, just wide this time. <laughs> Salford trying to play Preston at their own game with the high press. They nearly pinched it there, but Preston have got it away. And here's Sean Maguire now. He's got support arriving. Drifts past one, and here's Daniel Johnson, didn't quite hit it. Scott Sinclair does, though. And the championship side have the lead. Sloppy defending in the end from the League Two men, but Preston made the most of it. And it's Scott Sinclair who breaks the deadlock. Yeah, we, uh, we were just speaking about players who can unlock defences, and they were just on the first glimpse of why Sean Maguire's been gifted a new contract. Oh. Madsen catching it from Darren Gibson. It's Daniel Johnson for yeah. Bowden again. Two quick fire goals. And Preston taking command now. Billy Bowden this time getting in on the act. And it's Salford nil, Preston too. On paper before the game started, the front four of Preston, you say they look dangerous, don't they? Uh, they've all got a bit of pace about them. They're comfortable on the ball and they've got ability. And it's just showing you there that's the difference. Good move here. Slow pulling it back, and again, it's just wide of the post. Ripley again with the save. Salford on everything but score, but they have this time. They are back in the game. It's no more than they deserve, is it? You know, they've had three really good chances since going 2-0 down. And I'll tell you what, you take those couple of minutes out of that first half and they've really dominated Preston. It's worrying signs. Uh, you can see Alex Neal's by no means enthused by what he's seeing in this first half. It's the same starting 11 for both both sides that, that finished the first half. And as you say, we're going to see some wholesale changes, I think, from Preston on the hour mark. Um, yeah, I think maybe Graham will be doing the same because they certainly got a, a decent sized squad in the warm up. So, uh, but yeah, it's good for these players to get so many minutes under the belt so early on. Tom Clark with the long ball forward and Salford with the first attack. The header goes wide off the mark, though. Yeah, again, Salford coming out of the blocks like they did in the first half. 
Bowden on the corner. And it was headed wide by Story, who decent, rose well. Decent chance, wasn't it, as well? I don't know if the, the jump from, from Brown just in front of him maybe, maybe took his eye off the ball. Ledson's just managed to recover and get this one. Here's Bayliss. Alan Bryan now being encouraged forward by his manager. Johnson. Here's Sinclair. Sinclair find a chance. Ledson will, and the goalkeeper makes a good save. Salford want to equalise before then if they can, and nearly an own goal. That nearly was an own goal off Patrick Bauer. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a great ball, wasn't it? And he worked it well. It's obviously another little set piece they've been working on. Well, here come the changes, and Preston are going to change by all eleven. And the team coming on is going to be Matt Hudson in goal. Uh, Josh Earl, Ben Davis, Paul Huntington and Joe Rafferty, Ben Pearson and Paul Gallagher in midfield, Brad Potts, Josh Harrop and Tom Barkhazen with Jaden Stockley up front. So plenty of fresh legs and fresh ideas. Changes for Graham Alexander as well. Darren Gibson is uh, coming off and it looks like Tom Clark is also uh, going to uh, make way. Over 30s club, in it. <laughs> the left back was a bit of a problem, really, for Alex Neal last season. He relied on Joe Rafferty playing out of position for quite a large spell of it. And, uh, he did pretty well, actually, to his credit. And he's on at right back now for the rest of uh, this game. Here he is, in fact. He did well, didn't he? Because, as you say, he was, he was always round pegging the square hole, wasn't he? But it was, uh, he, he did really well. He's, he copes really well as soon as he's on the lopsided. Here's Potts with the side netting from a tight angle after Tom Barkhazen's thrust down the right. Straight away, this just looks a little more intent from this team, don't they, going forward? He's got a very familiar looking team of coaches alongside him as Graham Alexander now with Chris Lachetti, Yulma Wenning and Carlo Nash. I was just going to say, they've got, it's no coincidence that you know they've got good people at the top, haven't they? You know, Chris Lachetti and, and Graham, they've been together now for a number of years. They've brought in Yulma Wenning, one, one of the best guys you'll ever meet and very thorough at his job. And Carlo Nash, goalkeeping coach, so the guys are all really happy to be here and I'm sure they all work well together. and known each other a long time. Referee playing the advantage here, and Stockley just whips it past the post. Stockley's going short, and it might just get them in trouble. He's going longer instead. Bit of a mismatch there with Josh Earl. Food and drink to him. Drade in through the middle, but Huntington read it. Pearson stealing it and four against three here. Yeah. You can see Earl at the back stick. There we go. Here it comes. Yeah, yeah there we The difference is a little bit of quality. Pops there. It's the first real influence of this ha of this half since he's come on. But uh, again Pearson just Rob Salford of possession, what he does so well, reads the game and gave the ball easy. And great, great delivery from Potts on the right side there, picked out Earl um, Harrop at the back state, easy finish for him. Whipped in and headed over. He's got some delivery hunter, hasn't he? They've been up against not your typical League Two team and caused them a lot of problems in the first half, but uh, 
I think the, the class has come through in the end and they've they looked more than competent and everybody looks fit and, and raring to go and it looks like there's going to be competition for places which is, is always good for any squad. Deep cross that Hudson takes charge of. Comfortable keeping from him as the full time whistle goes. So it's Preston who get the win in their first game of this summer's pre-season. Scott Sinclair, Billy Bowden and Josh Harrop with the goals. Ash Hunter scored one for Graham Alexander's Salford City. It's finished. Preston at North End 3, Salford 1.